we are back. Happy Labor Day, Hall of Famers. We are live at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards in Arcadia, California, getting ready to do a little special Labor Day episode of Monday Night Personal Breaks. That's where we open boxes for you, the viewers, right here, right now, over this next two-hour period. It is Labor Day. Hope y'all are have, having a great day have had a great weekend, the last big weekend before the fall push until the holidays. We got like the next three months or something like that before we get a holiday, yeah. another holiday break. Um, so let's enjoy it. And we're here live on Hall of Fame to uh, help us end this big celebration. And hopefully we all have a good time. Uh, we got some people lined up already for personal breaks. Uh Kicking it off will be Amy V with a box of archive signatures, followed by a couple boxes of origins for uh, Matthew W and James M, followed by a couple packs for Jessica F. And we got more stuff lined up after that. If you want to get your box in line to have us rip some boxes just for you guys in this next two hour periods, get those orders in right now. I'm going to drop the link into the group chat. That's not the right link. I was going to drop the link. Hold on, hold on a second. Actually, here, follow me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, but don't lose your grip. <laughs> to, to our, here's our website. Here's our website. You're looking at our homepage right here. By the way, if you just want to order a box for yourself, everything over $100 on our website up until midnight tonight is free shipping if you use the code Labor Day. So you got that going on. But if you want to get to personal breaks, go to our homepage, go to store, click on the drop down menu, group breaks. And any one of these next four pages will have product listings that say personal break in the title. Those are available for purchase right now, and we'll open them right now in the next two-hour period. If you want them to open up soon, get your box in line right now. Let me see if I can copy and now paste the link. And right there, okay, I think right into the group chat. I pasted that link, you can click that link, get right to page number one of our personal breaks. Scroll through those four pages, see if there's anything you want us to open. And don't forget, all personal breaks have free shipping. You don't have to pay any shipping on personal break products. We cover the shipping on personal break products. So there's probably something that you can find that you want us to open for you today. We're sold out of Panini Elite Football. We're sold out of Panini Origins Football on personal breaks today. <coughs> But we still got some other baseball, basketball, and football products available right now for personal breaks. Let's go back to our main screen here. Let me take a sip of water. We've been at the shop since 9.45 a.m. this morning. We've been hosting people all day in our shop. We've been doing trivia, and we got a raffle that we're going to do a drawing for tomorrow. We've been doing prize wheel spins. Thank you to everybody who showed up in store today to support us. It was a lot of fun. Mmm. I got my buddy Brandon over here. Say what's up, Brandon. What's up, everybody? He's normally one of our moderators. He's in store today with us, hanging out. Going to be doing a little co-hosting, maybe a little commentary back and forth. What's up to everybody in the chat group right now who's uh, popping into the chat? We see you. Hope you're having a great Labor Day. Join me as we get into the first little quick rip for Amy V. Amy V, hope you're watching wherever you are. If you're uh, up in the chat right now, feel free to uh, let us know, because what's inside this box is for you. We're kicking it off right here on Labor Day at the shop for our Monday night personal breaks, Labor Day special. Let's see what's up. A little quick rip to start it off here. Lead off hitting, 2019 Topps Archive Signature Series has one encased buyback autograph per box, and Amy V, your box, you get Shamanea. I like Sean Manea's name. This card is from 2018. Yeah, last year's Topps design. Numbered 53 out of 70. And he autographed it, autographed it right on his butt right there. <laughs> right across both cheeks. Solid. That, is nice. that reminds me of that scene from Dumb and Dumber. Kiss my butt, Lloyd. <laughs> both lips. Both cheeks. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. Anybody... Anybody out there remember Dumb and Dumber? That's one of my favorite movies. And there's Sean Manea's autograph across both cheeks. That's a, a Topps buyback. It's one of the cards from last year that they bought back from the community. They had it autographed. They factory sealed it. And now it's going to Amy Veal. Amy V, excuse me. It's 
So thanks, Amy, for your participation. Uh, we'll be uh, mailing out that card, so that's what we do. We open the boxes for you, then we lovingly package them up, and we mail them off to you, and you get them in the mail in a few days. That's how it works. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to be drinking a lot of water this episode because my voice is already going. It's been a long weekend, folks, but a fun one. And it is football season. We're approaching almost officially football season. We've been seeing a lot of preseason stuff going on. <clears throat> Let's line up some more boxes. Now batting, we have Matthew W., the Chuck Wagon. Matthew, are you watching right now? I wonder if you are. Chime in. Uh, on deck, we have James M. with another quick rip of Origins. And we're going to be lining up some more stuff. David B.R., who's a regular in our uh, online breaks here, actually stopped into the shop today, uh, brought a couple of gifts. Thanks again, David, if you're watching right now. He lined up a box of the, uh, I'm going to show it to you right here on this camera, 2017 Bowman Draft Jumbo Box. That's a, that's a hefty box right there. That's going to be coming up in a little bit. And more. So keep watching. Get those orders in now because we're going to probably try to cut it off promptly at the two-hour mark today so that we can go home and get some rest and be uh, cool for the rest of the week. Matthew W., is the Chuck Wagon up in here right now? I'm not seeing him. David BR is up in here. He says, what's up, fellas? Good to be able to drop by today. Hope you enjoy the beers. Yeah, man. We will enjoy those later on. Matthew W., this box is for you. Let's see what's up. 2019 Panini Origins Football. It, it's kind of like similar design to uh, Tops. Excuse me. I'm knocking things over in the back. I wanted to try to set this pack of uh, Tops Tribute up nicely, but it doesn't stay on the stand very well. But uh, Origins kind of reminds me of Tops Inception. Very galactic design. But let's see what's up. We're supposed to get one on-card rookie autograph, one jumbo rookie patch autograph, and who knows what else. Brandon, you're a football fan, right? Yeah. Who's Ooh. your favorite team? San Francisco. San Francisco. I believe Matthew W. is a Chiefs fan. Was that right? He is definitely a Chiefs fan. Chiefs fan. So it doesn't seem like I don't see his name popping up right now. He, likes <clears throat> he wants a Mahomes card. So he's looking for Mahomes. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Here's Deshaun Watson base card. Chris Carson, base card. And then we're getting to some hits after that. And oh my gosh, the first box has another booklet card in it. No way. Look at that. Wow. Another booklet card in it. Last yeah. time we opened up Origins, we got a sick one of one dual autograph, dual Nike swoosh Niners card. Some more base cards. There's a Keenan Allen out of 299. Here's a uh, Von Miller, 2 out of 25. Those are awesome. These are awesome cards. You collect football, Brandon? I don't, but I would with this. Uh, you might want to start. Yeah. Let's see what's up. I think there is a uh, redemption card here that I'm going to check out real quick off camera to make sure I'm not showing off any, any codes or anything. I'm not, but here it is. We got a... Uh, Paris Campbell, rookie jumbo patch auto right there from 2019 Panini Aura. Do you know Paris Campbell? I don't. Yeah, no, do you mind looking that up? P-A-R-R-I-S, Campbell, like Campbell's Soups. Anybody out there familiar with that name, Paris Campbell? I am not. I am not, but maybe somebody else knows. Uh, we're going to find out right now which team he belongs to, but before then, Colts. we're going to see. Brandon saying Colts. That was quick. Colts. Thanks, B. Uh, right here, we've got... Chris Carson. Behind Chris Carson, we've got Jade of, J How do you say that name? Jadavion Clowney. Jadavion. <laughs> Jadavion. I always get choked up with that name. Just got traded to Seattle. Ah, 6 out of 10. <clears throat> Excuse me, little patch card right there. <clears throat> nice card. You guys ready to see this booklet card? Oh my gosh. Oh, where's Matt? Card Shop Matt, where are you right now? Card Shop Matty is going to be so jealous of Matthew W. Because Matt's a huge Raiders Josh Jacobs fan. This is a booklet card numbered 16 of 49. Let's see what's inside. Could be just a double patch. Could be an autograph. Who knows? Here's the back. Let's see what's up, folks. Let's take a look 
It's in the book, <laughs> Reading Rainbow. Oh, yeah. Look at that jumbo patch autograph booklet. Wow. Josh Jacobs. He's a rookie, right? Yep. Jeez. Matty is going to flip his lid when he sees that he missed out on grabbing this box. Jason Wento, what's up, buddy? Happy Labor Day. He says, boom machine activated. Oh, oh yeah. Matthew W., where you at, buddy? Congrats to you, man. I think Matthew W. got the last booklet card, too. I think oh, yeah. he got the he's one two, of one. He's two for two. He got, yeah, he did. Got right? Both Bay Area teams. That's pretty sick. Even though you're a uh, Chiefs fan, Matthew W., you got a couple of sick cards right here. Look at that booklet. That's awesome. Yeah, that thing opens up like a book like that. That's pretty nasty. That is pretty nasty right here. And Yama's giving me a little quick mag so I can at least get something on that right now so I don't mess anything up. Sickness, sickness. That's the way to kick off Labor Day, baby. That is the way. Here you go, bud. Yama, do you mind uh, somehow doing something with that? Thank you, sir. Wow. Makes me wonder what James M is gonna get. James M, are you uh, are you in here? Can you can you help moderate? Yeah, I got you. <clears throat> uh, we just like to remind everybody on our on our chat groups, uh, we are a private business and we don't appreciate anybody doing private sales in our chat groups. We obviously don't appreciate any uh, eBay links. Uh, we don't appreciate any. Uh, 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 inappropriate language or bullying or harassment either. Anybody caught doing any of those things will just be immediately booted. No excuse. Um, <clears throat> thanks for respecting that. We're getting our moderators on that right now. Uh, James M., I wonder if you're in the chat right now. <clears throat> Let's see. wonder what's going to be in your box of origins right now, James. Jaden Hom, what's up, Jaden? Saw Jaden in here earlier from the Bay Area. Thanks to you and your dad, Len, for stopping by. It was great to see you guys again. Thanks for popping into the chat. Let's see what's up with James M's box of origin. Did he miss it by one? Let's see what's up. Not seeing any book click cars, but that doesn't mean there can't be a cool rookie auto or something like that. We got Marcus Mariota base. We got Jamal Adams base. We got a couple of numbered cards in the back, including J.J. Watt and Drew Brees. And behind Jamal Adams, let's see. I'm just going to flip it over this way because I think all our autographs are facing the opposite way. So, Ryan Finley with the Bengals right here. Who's even on the Bengals besides Ryan Finley right now? What's their you team looking like? A.J. Green still. Um, that's a sick pass, yeah, though. That's nice, though. Nice, nice autograph. Still got Andy, I think Andy Dalton's still there. RPA is what they call those for short. Rookie patch auto. Look at that patch right there. James M. Definitely cool. Hopefully, James, you like that one. Uh, up next, you got uh, David Montgomery. All right. On card auto. Looks like a running back for the uh, Bears. He's a rookie. He's on my fantasy team. Cool. <clears throat> and we also have, I am keep looking for James M, but I'm not seeing him popping in right now. We also have uh, Dwayne Haskins. Washington Redskins, numbered 137 to 175. Nice jumbo patch right there. That thing is large and in charge. So that's how Panini Origins looks right now. We got one more box of those lined up for tonight, but those are sold out for the rest of the evening. So if you missed out on Panini Origins tonight, uh, hopefully we can get some more in stock for next Monday. And I believe we will be back next Monday. Isn't that right, Yama? Next Monday, we will be back for personals, but the following Monday, I believe is the 16th, we will be out of town. So mark your calendars that we will not be doing personals on September 16th or whatever that Monday is right then. Thanks to James, by the way, for jumping in, helping us kick off the episode. Now batting, Jessica F. with a couple of premium packs right here. Museum and Tribute. 
On deck, David B.R. with that nice box of Bowman Draft. Followed by Richard M. Richard, if you're watching, you're uh, in the hole with another box of Football Elite. And then uh, Brian L. will be uh, batting cleanup as of now with the last box of Origins. And a little pack of Tribute Baseball. I'm trying to set that up, but I can't. That's all right. Actually, I'm going to do this. I wonder if Jessica F. is watching right now. Mm, Jessica F. And be sure, if we don't know your YouTube handle already, when you place your personal break order right now, be sure to include your YouTube handle in the note to seller so that we can look for you in the chat. A lot of time it might be parents of people buying and then they come in and they claim to be so-and-so, but they're using their parents' channel and it's hard to know who's who. But uh, let us know your YouTube handle. That would help. Uh, I'm not sure if Jessica F. is watching right now, but if you watch this now or watch this later, this one's for you, Jessica. We thank you for your support. Let's see what's in your pack of tribute. One hit, guaranteed. Seth Falco claiming to be Jessica F. Is that uh, corroborate with the last name, Yama? Yep. All right, Seth, what's up, buddy? Let's do this, he says. You got Joe Morgan base on the front. I'm going to try to save the hit. The hit's in the middle, and they come with these uh, little wafer-thin papers that really uh, kind of the, the uh, static electricity a little bit kind of sticks to each other. Joe Morgan, Sandy Koufax base card. <laughs> and before I get to this hit, I want to say thank you to Bailey Baseball for the $10 Super Chat. Thanks, Bailey. Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. Uh, I say, hey, Eric, just bought my 174th Chipper Jones card today. Hoping to pass up you and Ricky one day. LOL. Hope all's well. Hey, that's great, man. 174 Chipper Jones cards is nothing to sneeze at, man. That sounds like a pretty great collection. And we appreciate the, uh, the Super Chat little donation there. Um, some of you may have seen the uh, mail day video that we put up over the weekend. Um, I'm approaching 400 different Ricky Henderson cards in my personal collection. And if you haven't watched that video yet, you can check out that video on our YouTube channel later on. I thought it was pretty fun. Did you yeah, happen to watch it? I did. Very yeah. Nice. That was cool. Nothing crazy, but just something fun for my own personal. Thought I'd show it off. All right. Back to Jessica F. Seth. Here we go. Let's see what your hit from Tribute is. Try to slowly reveal. What's your team, Seth? What's your team? Is it by chance St. Louis? Because <laughs> that's what the hat's looking like here. We're looking at a Miles Michaelis. I used to say Michaelis until recently on MLB The Show. I heard him pronouncing it Michaelis. Is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, it's Michaelis. Okay. Miles Michaelis, 28 out of 199. Nice little uh, on-card auto right there for the Cardinals. So there you go, Seth. That's one of your two packs right there. Texas Sports Cards asking me to make a video about all those Ricky Henderson cards. That would be a long-ass video, man. <laughs> <coughs> but I might do something when I get the time. <clears throat> All right, continuing on for Seth. <clears throat> In one moment. Pack a museum collection for you, Seth. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. One hit guaranteed in museum. Could be a relic. Could be an auto. Could be an auto relic. Eloy Jimenez, base rookie, coming out on top. Not a bad way to start. I'm guessing it uh, might be an autograph is my guess. I don't know. Andrew McCutcheon, base. Mookie Betts, base. Seth says... Hope this something better. I'm not sure what that word is. Maybe that's a misspelling. Oaks. Hope this oaks better. Is better. Who knows? Is better. Matt Carpenter base. And your hit out of this pack of museum collection is Meaningful Material. Zach Granke. 
A little thick, a uh, little pinstripe patch right there, number 13 out of 25. I never saw Seth comment his favorite team, so I'm not sure what you're looking for. But uh, hopefully you can stand with uh, both of those cards. Uh, if you don't like either one of those cards, you, you can offer them up for trade in our trading group. Facebook, HOFBC Trading Group. It's free to join. It's all ages. Just a request to be added. It's for trades only, folks. No sales allowed. We're keeping the purest form of the hobby alive through trading. And there's over 250 people in that group already. We just started a few months ago. So join HOFBC Trading Group if you want to try to trade this to somebody for something that you might prefer. But thanks, Seth and Jessica, for uh, getting in on uh, personal breaks today. We appreciate you guys. Quick sip of water. If you want to jump in and have us open up a box for you in the next two hours before 6 p.m. Pacific, click that link that we just dropped into our group chat right now. It'll take you to our, our breaks pages. Click any product that says personal breaks in the title, and we'll open it for you right now in the next hour and a half. We have about an hour and a half left. <laughs> now batting with a fat jumbo box of 2017 bone draft baseball cards, including three chrome autographs. David B.R. On deck, Richard Martinez, followed by Brian L. in the hole. And we got anything coming up after that? Not yet. Not yet. So if you want to be batting cleanup right now, get those personal breaks in, and you'll be batting cleanup at this point. You're going to have a little bit of time because this box may take a minute. No worries. Happy to break for David. David says, looking forward to this. Big hits. I hope so, buddy. You got a chance to pull some pretty cool uh, prospects and rookie autographs out of this box. This box was only like 379 bucks on our website with free shipping. I think most people are over 400 on this box everywhere else. And David, if you don't mind, I'm just going to have at it. Baseball cards. <laughs> Here we go. I'll take a quick look at the first pack here. Keston Hira, a chance to pull some of his autographs in here. That would be fun. Yeah. Clark Schmidt, Blake Hunt, Pearson, Adams. There's a ton of cards in these packs. A ton. So I'm going to take a little bit of a look at this first pack, David, if you don't mind. And then in future packs, I'm probably just going to skip straight to the meat and potatoes in the middle. Meat and potatoes, meaning these uh, all the chrome cards and inserts in the middle of these packs, like Paven Smith here. Royce Lewis, chance to go. find some of his autographs. <clears throat> Drew Strotman, Carter Kaboom. Evan White and Sam Carlson, recommended viewing card right there. Ooh, Corbin Martin with the first autograph right here. His first Bowman card. That's a cool signature. Yeah, very nice. That's a very nice signature. I love it. Clean. Very clean. Nice penmanship, Corbin Martin. We love it. We love it for our on-card autographs here. Somebody's asking how much was the buy-in. The buy-in is whichever product you want to pick. I think our lowest pack price is uh, $49.99 for a pack of Bowman Sterling. You buy that, and we'll open it for you right now. I'm going to click the link. I'm going to paste the link in the, in the chat right now. Click that link. Choose a product that says Personal Brace, and you can jump right in. So there's your first hit, David. Here's Daniel Tillo, Delvin Perez, and J Jemai Jones Chrome cards, followed by some uh, paper cards, Tavares, Armenteros, Williams, Clifton, Craig, Becerra or Becerra, Colby Allard, Corey Ray, Bo Bichette. I'm not sure. I don't know if I saw his name on the autographs checklist. I didn't. I just kind of breezed through it. Scott Hurst and Dewell Lugo, but definitely some names in this product from 2017. And uh, David Br got a steal on this product. I'm actually going to take the packs out like this, so I can do this. And I'm going to sleeve Corbin Martin. 
All right, continuing on, I'm just going to go across the top here. It's hard to see all the chat messages coming in when we're uh, trying to do business uh, opening cards for other people at the same time. So if you want to guarantee, if you got something to say, something nice, something complimentary, anything like that that you want us to notice, do a super chat. So definitely more easily noticeable. It just basically highlights your chat and uh, makes it a little easier for us to recognize in our uh, screen that's up above, a little far away from our face here. <clears throat> Here's Blake Hunt, middle of the pack, by the way. Blake Hunt, Jacob Pearson, Riley Adams, Luis Campusano, like that. Luis Ortiz, and ooh, ooh. David Br. I want this card, buddy. I want this card. I wish it was signed. That'd be sick because these do come in the autograph parallels. But just a little MLB draft history from uh, Bowman Draft. What do you think, buddy? Uh, a little, make you a little trade for it. You brought me a gift earlier, so I don't want to just get it from you. But uh, can I trade you something for it? Taylor Ward here and Corey Ray and Blake Rutherford and some more paper that you can check out later, David. Uh, 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 David says, ha ha, I knew you would. I don't have one of those yet. By the way, I uh, already have my, I already have purchased my 400th, my 400th Ricky Henderson card. This card is going to put me probably at like 402. I think after the card that you gave me today, it's going to put me at 402 or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'll trade you something for it. I'll check out a, I'll check out a, David, if you trust me, I'll check out a comparable value and I'll send you a pack of uh, current baseball cards. It's a comparable value if that's cool. Confirm that for me in the chat right now. If that's not cool, if you prefer something else, let me know. All right, middle of this pack. Espinoza says, yep, that works for me. Cool, David. Thanks, buddy. Corey Abbott, Matt Tabor, Tabor Drew Waters, Yu Chang, Yu Chang Chang? Yu Chang Chang. Sure. Yeah. And another card after that. Tell me this one's signed. Ooh, Roy Halladay. I wish that was signed. Gosh, that would have been sick. That would be cool. Those aren't numbered. They're just definitely cool looking. Yeah, they're good. Those are, those are nice. Riley Waddell. Uh, Juan, little young Juan Soto right there. That's cool. I wonder if he has any autos in this set. Lourdes Goriel Jr. Sick box so yeah. far. Good box. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, middle of this pack, I see some green. Hans Kruse. No relation to a Tom Kruse. <laughs> wow, Michael FH, Michael Heron, thanks for the uh, super chat. Happy Labor Day to you as well. Uh, he says, I can't believe USPS delivered my baseball cards today on Labor Day. When they were sent out on Saturday, that was some quick shipping. That is incredible. I thought they were closed today. I thought so, too. That's interesting. All right. They're closed in our part of town. But we did ship them out on Saturday in hopes they'd get there on Tuesday. But I guess some people are getting their cards already, so that's sick. That was from Friday's break. Uh, here's Hans Cruz, Blake Enloe, uh, Tyler Freeman, Colton Hawk. Angel Perdomo, per diem. Ooh, Keston Hira. There's autographed versions of these as well. You got a green parallel behind him. I think it's autographed. Kyle Lewis, Nick Solak. There's a Juan Soto paper. I'm going to let you check out the paper on your own, David, when you uh, get the cards in the mail. Let's see who this autograph. I think it's autographed. I hope it's autographed. Let's see what player it is. Let's see. I don't recognize that face. It's like an Astros hat? Pitcher. It looks like a Reds hat. Reds hat? It's not even autographed. All that for a green parallel. Uh, it is numbered 51 of 99. Jacob Heatherly. Jacob Heatherly. I'll put a sleeve on him. 
That's cool. I like this card, too. I really like this Keston Hira Defining Moments card, too. I'm going to put a sleeve on him just for fun. I like sleeving cards. It's cathartic. For me, at least. <clears throat> From Cali to New York City in two days, says Heron. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I never heard of that before. Yeah, that's... Especially on a holiday. That's quick. <sighs> All right, middle of this pack. DJ Hall. Bukaskis. Brandon McKay has autographs in this product. Mackenzie Gore. Justice Sheffield. There's got to be an autograph in this pack. I feel like there should be. It's behind. I think it's behind Sheffield. Here's Bobby Dalbeck, Afrini Greer, and Scott Hurst. I believe there's an autograph behind Justice Sheffield. The uh, little white section on the left here is leading me to believe that's an autograph. Another red. Another Cincinnati red. Hunter Green? Stuart Fairchild, not Hunter Green. Would have been cool. Is he in this set? Was he Should 2018? be. Wasn't he Royce Lewis's draft class as well? Uh, he was the I'm second not, pick. I'm not sure, actually. I don't think I saw his name on the list when I briefly glanced. But Stuart Fairchild is your second hit out of three. Let's see what else. All right, middle of this pack, we're looking at Luis Gonzalez, Ernie Clement, Logan Warmoth, Taylor Trammell, Purple behind him, Hazley and Howard on recommended viewing. We've got Cole Reagans. Ooh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Oh, hey. Vlad Guerrero Jr., a little prospect card there. That's cool. I'll sleep that for you in a sec. Christian Pash and the purple parallel is Atlanta Braves Drew Waters Drew Waters and that's numbered uh, 003 out of 250 right there for David BR there you go David quick sleeve on him quick sleeve on Vladdy Jr. Hall of Fame regular. Yeah, he's a regular here at Hall of Fame. He rents a room out back. <laughs> Not signing yet, though. Maybe he'll be signing a little bit later on. I do see some uh, Panini Leather and Lumber lined up. Here's Will Gaddis. Cash Case. What a name. He's a cash case. Ricardo De La Torre, Cole Brannon, we got purple paper parallel of Jacob Gonzalez, that should be numbered, it's numbered out of 250, followed by Joey Morgan, recommended viewing, we got uh, TJ Zush, Will Craig, and Gavin Lux, mm -hmm. one of the most recent call-ups call up. to Los Angeles. To the big stage. Uh, hope he can perform, man. Hey, Dodgers, if you're watching this, can we get some pitching? <laughs> you got a lot of hitting. We got a, got lot, a lot of bats. Of we need to stack our bullpen. Please. I've been saying it for 25 years. They just don't listen to me. Joe Kelly's not enough for you? Oh. <laughs> Stuart Fairchild. <laughs> Sorry, that was uh, hey, Ivan, happy uh, Labor Day to you. Everybody say what's up to Ivan Arroyo, and thanks for the $10 super chat. He says, hey, everyone, how's everyone on this beautiful day for collecting? Hi, Chris and Sir Eric. What's up, brother? What up? Happy Labor Day to you and Roseanne. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for the super. Got a couple boxes coming up. Ivan's got some boxes coming up? Yeah. Right on. Fairchild, Doyle, Harrison, Fado, Diaz, Freeman. A blue parallel there. It's like a crystal blue parallel, numbered out of 399. Gotta sleep both of those in a sec. Recommended viewing. We got Lugo and Justin Dunn on the chrome there. 
saving the paper cards for David BR to check out at his leisure in the comfort of his home when we ship these cards to him. Yes, that is right, folks. We open boxes for you to watch right now, and then we ship you the cards. If you're interested in having us do that, you got about an hour and 20 minutes left on, lo on the line. On lo uh, blah, 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 blah. Get those uh, personal break orders in now. Get them lined up. Still looking for one more auto for David. Robertson here. Scherf. Cease. Riley Waddell with a random paper card in the middle. Joe Waddell. Armenteros. Ooh, another Kevin Maiton there. Defining moments. Those are nice cards. Becerra. Tucker. And Jeffries ending the chrome in that pack. Three packs left. What do you think the last autograph is, David? Pick a number. David BR only. <laughs> Pick a number. One, two, or three. Let's see if you can find. You got a 33% chance. Pack three. Let's see what he says. Let's see if he chose correctly with a 33% chance. James Marinin. Connor Uselton. I like that name. Uselton. <laughs> I think that is German. Drew Ellis. By the way, speaking of Ellis, anybody see that documentary about Doc Ellis? That was came up in our trip one of our trivia questions in the shop earlier today. What, here's a trivia question for you guys. What did Doc Ellis claim to have done in, what was it, 1970 or 71? Something like that, yeah. I can't remember the year. Labor Torres, Dylan Cease. No autograph in the middle of that pack. <clears throat> I actually might bust out some more trivia questions today just for fun. Let me see real quick. We had some good trivia questions today. <clears throat> yeah, Corey, you got it right. Doc Ellis, I can't remember the year, 7071. And Michael Mondragon, Beer Baseball Blog. What's up, bud? Doc Ellis claimed to have thrown a no hitter while on LSD. LSD is the least that he did when he was a uh, Beer Baseball. LSD is the least of what he did. And uh, he is currently a uh, sobriety coach, actually. So he turned his life around for him. after partying a lot. And he's now a sobriety coach, life coach for people, a mentor. Cool story. Go check out the story of Doc Ellis on Netflix. It's actually really cool. Bubba Thompson, but don't do drugs. <laughs> Let me make that ultimately clear, kids. Don't do drugs. Okay. Drugs are bad, okay? okay. <laughs> Cheater okay. Downs, Bubba Thompson. Jake Berger, Sam Carlson, Francisco Rios. I'm hoping this blue parallel behind Rios is uh, signed for you, David. Jurado, Jurado, excuse me. Ibanez, Stefan, and the blue card is New York Mets, it's looking like. First Bowman. A face I'm not recognizing real apparent uh, immediately. It is signed. It's Quinn Brody. You know about Quinn Brody? No. Anybody know anything about Quinn Brody? This was 2017 box. Is he still with the uh, organization? Is he still in the league? Maybe he's still in the minors? Quinn Brody. It's a nice uh, blue auto, blue jersey, blue refractor. It's numbered 112 out of 150. <clears throat> That's your last hit. That's pretty cool, David. Came in the second to last pack, so at least it kind of got spread out, which is cool. Check out this pack real quick, and then we'll move on. Brett Netzer, Keston Hira, just missed getting one of his autos. Clark Schmidt, David Peterson, uh, JB Bukaskis, blue paper, number out of 150. Trevor Clifton. Royce Lewis, 
Nick Gordon, Riley Pint, Juan Hillman. Hey, there's Peter Alonzo right there. A little paper card. We're going to end on his face. Thank you very much, David. Appreciate you, buddy. Decent box. And uh, might be some other stuff hiding in those paper cards for you to check out, too. So we, we ship those out to you tomorrow. And I'll find a comparable trade. Thanks again for uh, trading me this uh, Ricky Henderson card to put me uh, over 400. Thank you, sir. Actually, Ricky, Ricky knows of personal breaks. He's going to preside right there in the corner just because. Quick sip of water. Ivan reminding everyone to hit that like button. We do have a personal challenge to see how many likes we can get during a live stream. Do us a favor real quick. If you're watching and you can hear my voice, hit that thumbs up. And let's see how many likes, if we can set a record, if we can break a record, if we can, let's just see what we can get. Our record is 124. Long way to go, but maybe we can do it with your guys' help. Whoa. Now batting Richard M. with a box of Panini Elite Football on deck, Brian L. Uh, in the hole, Chris M. His boxes don't stand up very well, so I'm just going to set that down there. And uh, cleanup is Bailey with Leather and Lumber, followed by Robert H. with Leather and Lumber. So that's the lineup. Then we got a couple more. Ivan's got a couple boxes after that. And if you guys want to get in too, before the time is up at 6 p.m. Pacific, click this link coming up right now. Sounds like Michael Heron's got a couple boxes coming up. Get those orders in now so we can uh, make some make some space for you. Somebody's saying, I've been collecting for 10 years. Didn't know there was breaks like this till a few weeks ago. Why do people do breaks? Well, hang out for a little bit and watch. It's just kind of fun. A lot of people really like uh, seeing their products and getting shout outs and stuff on uh, YouTube channels. <clears throat> Some people don't, and it's cool. It's all personal uh, preference. If you're into it, maybe you watch for a little bit, and you're into it, and you want to have us do it, pick up a box. Click that link that we dropped. Pick up a personal break. And, uh, you know, if we hit something big for you, you get to cheer and whoop, and you're a hero of the group chat, and we ship your cards out to you, and then you get to hold it and see it right there. Yeah, a lot of packs here. Richard M., are you up? Are you up in here right now? Uh, let me see. I don't see Richard M. up in the chat right now. Ivan Arroyo says he'll do the bubblegum challenge if we break 124 likes. Wow. That's that's bold. That is good, bold. Good, good for you, Ivan. <laughs> good for you. Uh, and Richard, you are here. There's someone else named Richard M. that I think is not the Richard Martinez. Is this Yama? Yeah. Is this Martinez? Or is this a different Richard M.? That, that's Richard Martinez. This is Martinez on the football? Okay, this is Richard Martinez right here, who's uh, uh, YouTube, I believe, is Monrovia22. Yep, he's here. All right, let's go, Richard. Here we go. Some football, two autos, and a mem memorabilia card. And these packs are not going to be... Panini doesn't like to make packs that open very easily. No. Do you notice that? Yeah, I know. I have a hard time with them, too. I'm going to talk about that with them at the uh, summit. Yeah, please do. <laughs> Here's Derek Carr. Richard is a uh, Broncos fan. Kirk Cousins. You got a hit coming up in this first pack. Let's just check it out. Bears. Mitch Trubisky. All right, Mitch. Not a bad start. You got your relic out of the way, first pack. You get a sleeve on that for you. Dual relic, excuse me, and this one on the left is like fuzzy. I don't know if you can see that. Lighting is not awesome in here right now. The one on the left is a little bit fuzzy. There you go. First hit right out of the way. I'm just going to go for it. There's 20 packs right in front of me. Five cards per pack. You got Drew Brees. Jameis Winston, happy Labor Day to you, by the way, Richard. Hope you're having a good day, doing whatever you're doing. 
I know you like the cigars and whatnot. Hopefully you're having a good stogie. Josh Rosen there. James R. says, hello from Maine. What's up, James? Moxie! <laughs> Yama yells Moxie in the background. I think we have one Moxie soda that's still left. I was We were doing those things with a little whiskey? Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Very recommended. Don't drink and drive, kids. <laughs> we, were, we were definitely doing that in the comfort of our own home. Here's Damian Harris. Nice little elite rookie prismish thing right there. Darius Slay, Williams, a couple back-to-back -back rookies upside down. Let's hold on a second. I think one of these is numbered. Here's Antonio Brown and Khalil Mack. Uh, decoy card going in the trash. Uh, this one's numbered. If you could help me just I'm yeah, hand those to you. I'm going to set them right here. I don't like to hand because they could be dropped, so I'll set them. Then you can, got you. if you don't mind. Uh, aspirations, Josh Allen, 24 out of 59. Little die cut. Die cut rookie out of 90, uh, 59, excuse me. If you want to jump into personal breaks and have us rip a box for you while you're watching, get it in now. We got a bunch of boxes lined up, but if you get them in now, we can probably squeeze you in before the end of the session. Click the link I'm dropping right now. Choose any product that says personal breaks. You will receive free shipping on all personal breaks. Free shipping, and you get to see it opened right now. In this period of time, we're live until 6 p.m. Pacific, and then we got to cut out because I'm wiped already. It's been a long day. We hosted events in our shop since 10, 10 o'clock this morning. Sorry, I forgot what I said. Chicago Bears' Riley Ridley, turn of the century autograph. Out of 199, 008. One away from the James Bond. Wide receiver. So there you go. There's your second of three hits, Richard. Hey, uh, Tanner Akers Vlogs uh, asking a cool question. Thanks for the super chat. Says, is the HOFBC trading group over? What does that mean? Is it over? It's just getting warmed up. Thank you. That was my best Al Pacino. Thank you. <laughs> now, you want to join our trading group? We are just getting warmed up. We only started a few months ago. Join HOFBC Trading Group on Facebook. Uh, let's see. We got something weird here. Kyler Murray. I'm going to check out this card. What is this thing? Yeah, Kyler Murray. What is this thing? Kyler like Murray. Playing card. Rookie on deck. It's like a playing card. It is like a playing card. It's got some little, like, raised logos on it. You can see the back. That's cool. It is kind of neat. Not Broncos. Martina is looking for Broncos. Vaughn Miller, Kiko Alonzo. No relation to Pete as far as I know. Here's a Jeffrey Simmons out of 699. AJ Bui. And uh, LaShawn McCoy. Matthew Stafford, Doug Baldwin, nice little Tony Pollard card there out of uh, 299. Mariota and AJ Green. JJ Watt, Lamar Jackson, another playing card of Baker Mayfield, one of those playing card things. So that's a little bit of a Topps stolen idea. Yeah. Ty Hilton, OBJ, and some uh, decoy action.
Yo, what up? It's Rezo. We're coming back next week, so get some grab bags ready. <laughs> What's up, Rezo? I got you, buddy. Yama's got you. You got Yama's right. the word of Yama. We got you. We got you. Which is good about 50% of the time. I love you, but sometimes that's true. <laughs> So there yeah. will at least be 25 for grab 50% of the time, that's true every time. 60% <laughs> of the time, it works 100% of the time. Bobby Wagner, <laughs> Roquan Smith, Cam Newton. He's got a great best last name in the in all of sports right there. Mari Cooper and something behind Roquan Smith. It is... Uh, Deontay Johnson, little on-card pen pals autograph right there. Pen pals. So that's looking to be your third and maybe final hit, unless there's a bonus. Didn't see any uh, Broncos. Richard. Pen pals. Deontay Johnson. Drafted 66th overall for the Steelers. Watkins, Bosa, uh, Farrell or Farrell out of six ninety nine, Fitzgerald and Michelle. Rogers. And Richard, Monrovia22, Richard saying, it's cool, I love every player. Great attitude, man. Just loving the sport. It's a way to go, man. Just love the sports. Thomas and uh, Tevin Coleman there. Seeing some nice compliments from people who have visited our shop. We appreciate you guys. Appreciate the compliments. Glad you have been able to come and visit. Anybody else who's ever going to be in L.A., make sure to give us a stop. Say what's up. Here's Alvin Kamara, number 30 out of 41. That's a nice little die cut there. Just leave that in just a moment. Uh, Miles Garrett and Schuster. Can't, these die cuts are sometimes hard. to. I'm going to ask Brandon yeah, to do that. Uh, Brandon. All right. There you go. Thanks for your help. Just glad to be involved. <laughs> yeah, these die cuts. There we go. <clears throat> James R. says, I think you should make a mobile card shop and go on tour like a food truck. <laughs> That's a hell of an idea. That's not a bad idea That's at all. actually something that may be feasible for us. Actually, probably not, but I'd love to make that happen. That's a fun idea. What are some cities, if we were to do that, everybody watching right now, there's 78 people watching, what are some of the some of the cities that we should come to? If we were to, to somehow make a mobile truck, pack it with all sorts of grab bags and Hall of Fame t-shirts and any other Hall of Fame-esque stuff and bring it on the road, what are some cities we should go to? Drop them down. I'm going to ask Brandon and Yama to maybe... See what cities Bryce is saying, Texas, McKinney, Texas, Buffalo, New York, Vice Monterey, <laughs> Monterey, California. That's feasible. Yeah. Mon Monterey, I think you got to come to us, buddy. Robert H., uh, Jeff, Cincinnati, uh, V neck, and Temecula. Temecula, you got to come to us, too. Catherine saying Detroit, uh, Nate Sims says Fargo, Mike says Chicago, Bruce says Springfield. Nelson St. Charlotte. Soul says Duluth. I always like the name Duluth. Duluth. Uh, Richard Martinez says Hawaii. That's can't really take a truck to Hawaii as far as I know. No. No, right? Yeah, we have to somehow make it float. That's yeah. so hard. Uh, uh, Mozgov says Staten Island. Des Moines. Paul R. says Bakersfield. Paul R. <clears throat> Next time I go to my cabin in uh, Shaver Lake, maybe I can drop by and pay you a visit, Paul R. I'm hoping to take a trip up there in October. So be on the horn with us. What's this? This is a little elite company card with uh, Shane Ray, Sheldon Richardson, Chase Daniel, and uh, Charles Harris. And Drew Locke at the bottom. That's kind of a neat card. 
Michael Beer Baseball Blog. We should have baseball games and breweries. You know what we should do? What do you guys think? Here's another idea. In this little uh, Hall of Fame truck tour, what if we did a uh, GoFundMe? Yeah. Is that something that you guys would, uh, maybe we could we could work out whatever the budget might be for uh, renting a nice vehicle and for gas and, uh, you know, you guys could, we could do this like, man, I used to tour with my band back in the day, and people would put us up at their homes. We could find people in each town that maybe have a couch or a, a small room to crash in. We just need money for basically uh, tr uh, the van rental and the gas. Maybe we should do a, uh, a little GoFundMe. Uh, uh, uh. I like the GoFundMe idea. The GoFundMe idea Brandon likes. Here's a nice Marshall Falk Playmakers card for Richard. <clears throat> Michael Mondragon. He's going to come on the road with us. Uh, card Shop Matt is going to come on the road with us. I'm going to get my dad to uh, run the shop for that week somehow. <laughs> Maybe Brandon would come on the road with us. Uh, yeah, during the summer, I'd come on the road with you. Yeah, it'd have to be a summer trip. I don't think anyone's going to be around uh, during the season. I don't think I'd be able to do that feasibly during the uh, regular year. 30 of 99. So now, uh, what's the best time of year for us to come, everybody, if we were going to do that? Michael Mondragon, Beer Baseball Blogs, making a road map right now. What's the best time of year to do that? Summer, winter, fall, spring, you can give us a month. If you want to get more specific, give us a month that you think might be good so we can get an idea. I like this idea. I don't remember who suggested it, but it's a fun idea. Here's a nice Tom Brady card, Tidal Waves. Most people saying summer for sure. A bunch of people saying summer, July. July, July would be great. That would be so sick. I'm really thrilled about this idea right now. I really am. Bring me back to my old band touring days. I like this idea. This is a great idea. Yeah, not doing winter. Not doing winter. Don't need to mess with those uh, Midwest winters. Baker Mayfield spellbound card for you, Richard. This is your last pack, by the way. Tom, Another Tom Brady. Nick Chubb. Didn't see too many Broncos at all. Yeah. But thank you so much, Richard. Happy Labor Day to you. Appreciate your support. Now batting. Brian L. with a pack of tribute and a uh, little quick rip of Origins football. It was the last Origins football we had. On deck, Chris M. In the hole, Bailey. Bat and cleanup, Robert H. Uh, bunch of boxes lined up. Ivan grabbed a box of Diamond Kings and a pack of Sterling. And we still got some more after that. Let me get some water. HOFBC on tour. This is amazing. Yes, Mondragon. What part of the country are you in? Michael Mondragon, beer baseball blog, has been on a tour for the last, like, a thousand days. I think he's in Colorado. Where are you at right now, Mondragon? I want to say he's in Colorado, because he's been tagging me and everything. That'd be great. We could do videos. Just get out and meet some people. That's an idea, man. That's a great idea. I'm stoked. I like that better than saving up to go to the National. Screw the National. I like that better, too. <laughs> right. I like this idea better. Uh, Mondragon's at home. Hey, Mondragon, are you able to come down, man? David B.R. brought us some uh, some suds. And there's one for you if you want to come down, man. Chris Sale. The door's locked, but we'll let you in, of course. Chris Sale here. Who am I doing this for? Brian Hell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Brian Hell, are you up in here? Distracted. Hope you are. Thanks for uh, jumping in, Brian. Chris Sale, base. Corey Seeger, base. And Brian L's hit in this pack of tribute is. It's orange. It's definitely orange. It's definitely numbered in the bottom corner, 17 out of 25. So we got a good start. Someone with a. Lighting is terrible in here right now. Yeah, Sorry, I folks. I can't see it. Anybody recognize that face? It's hard to see. Hard to see. Let's just reveal Nicholas Castellanos. 
17 out of 25, orange parallel. Still looking for uh, Brian L. I don't see him up in the chat right now, so I'm going to sleeve this for you, Brian. Nice little triple relic. Stickers always have to go back on so we remember who. Yep, that's what I'm putting them on. Cool. My nose right. Sports and Stuff says, give away some stuff. How about you give away some stuff? We're giving away good times all day, right here. And knowledge. <laughs> and knowledge. And love. Oh, Mondragon can't come down, but he got a box of five-star. Okay. I can't open this pack. It's Panini. It's Panini, that's why. Jeez. Origins Football, Aaron Rodgers, Chris Godwin. Oh, got a Kyler Murray, probably a relic right there. We also got uh, Jameis Winston out of 175. Amari Cooper out of 299. How about Jarrett Stidham? Rookie patch auto right there. Looks like a quarterback for the Patriots. You think he'll ever get playing time? Or he'll get traded. Or he'll get traded. But there you go. Nice uh, rookie patch auto for Brian L. Uh, Riley Ridley on card rookie auto. And there's the Kyler Murray. Nice little patch out of 199. Not too shabby. Wouldn't mind sleeving that auto right there. Uh, yeah. I'll sleeve these fat ones here for Brian L. Thank you, Brian. Still looking for Brian. Can't see Brian's. Uh, I don't see Brian's uh, YouTube handle. I usually know what it is. But I don't see him in here right now. Brian, happy Labor Day to you, buddy. Wherever you are. Same person. All right, now batting Chris M. On deck, Bailey B. In the hole, Robert H. Batting cleanup is Ivan. Jeez, Michael Heron. Michael Heron went big on Labor Day. Wow. Look at this stack right here coming up for Michael Heron. <whistles> Plus this box of finest. Okay. Sit back, relax, folks. We got some boxes to rip. Let's do this. Starting with Chris M. Chris M., are you in here? This box is for you, and it's a quick one. I'm not sure. Did Chris M. leave his YouTube handle? No. Folks, you got to leave your YouTube handle when you uh, when you make your order so we know who you are. Otherwise, it's hard to tell. So, Chris M., whoever you are, this one's for you. Check it out. Justin Upton. Local name. I like the local name. It's okay. number 5 out of 34. It's an on-card autograph from uh, 2019 Topps Archives Signature Series. Factory sealed, of course. 2018 uh, Topps design. Stamped in the upper left corner with the Archives logo. Stamped in the upper right with the uh, serial number 5 of 34. And signed by Mr. Upton himself. Boom. Chris M. Thank you very much. Up next, Bailey B. Moving things over. We got some boxes to rip. This is fun. I'm loving it. Bailey, where are you at? Where's Bailey B? I'm looking for you. This is your pack of 2019 Panini Leather and Lumber. It's got 10 cards. Supposed to have two hits, one autograph, and one memorabilia card per pack on average. All right, Bailey's here. Let's see what's up with your pack here, bud. This is like unwrapping a uh, Yama. This is like unwrapping a uh, Gansito. Anybody had anybody had one of those uh, uh, those Mexican treats you can get at Seven uh, Eleven? It's like a chocolate covered Twinkie with like 
cream and raspberry filling. It's a bomb. It's called Gansito. You open up the foil, and it's each one is like individually wrapped with this clear plastic cellophane. I wish I had one of those. They're great when you put them in the fridge. All right. Bailey, here you go. Matt Carpenter. Chris Bryant. Jose Urena. Shohei. Behind him, we got something thick behind Shohei. I'm going to hide that for a second if I can. I'm going to hide that right here. We also got Miguel Cabrera, power player, die cut. Or power alley, excuse me. These cards are all textured. I like it. We got uh, Vlad Guerrero Sr. Naturals die cut. Uh, Anthony Rendon. This is a Knothole Gang die cut, followed by Mike Trout Benchmarks die cut. And your hits. I'm going to check out the one on the bottom first because I want to save that thick one. This guy's been coming out a lot at the shop. It's not Vladdy, it's Jake Cave. We saw uh, like three different Jake Cave autographs pulled earlier today. Yeah. Jake Cave, but it's signed on the lumber. It's numbered four out of ten. Nice. I can't tell what color that parallel is. It's a dark parallel. on the. You can tell by usually this thing on the left. It's like black. What is that? Maybe. That's supposed to be the parallel color right there, I think. Sure. Hard to tell, but there you go. Bailey, Jake Cave, nice little 4 out of 10. Rookie Lumber Auto. Nice. He said, Bailey says nice. Nice. Not thrilling, but nice. And your final hit is, uh, oh, it's a thick card. It's a little piece of Jim Rice flashing the leather. Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. Number out of 199. Little piece of glove. Bailey, I'm going to touch that. Touch Jim Rice's glove. You'll be able to touch that too as soon as you get it in the mail. There you go. Decent little pack. Jake Cave. Lumber. Jim Rice. Leather. Leather and lumber. Panini living up to its name. These packs are only like, what, 50 bucks a pack or something, right, Yama? Yes, $49.99. Quick sip of water. Bailey says, love it. Thanks, Eric. What's up, Todd? Todd Harris, the beard, up in the group chat. What's up to you and the fam? Something about Trevor Story hitting a leadoff home run. Yeah, we were talking about him earlier in our trivia. Speaking of trivia... Here's a quick trivia question for everybody watching. This is just for fun. Just for fake points here. Bragging rights. First person can answer this. Against which opposing team did Babe Ruth hit his first career home run? I think it was this one. Yes. I got it right. First person to answer that right now. Just two fake points. While I get into Robert H., Roland Lamar, correct, first on the button with the Yankees. While playing for the Red Sox, Babe Ruth hit his first career home run against the Yankees on May 6th, 1915. He was later traded to the Yankees for a mere $125,000. He was sold. And the curse began. Coming up next, Robert H. Ivan on deck. And who was it? Michael Heron? Yep. Yeah, Michael F.H. Michael In the hole. Robert H., where are you at? Another pack of Panini Leather and Lumber. Robert H. says, Hi. Here you go, Trey Turner, Jose Barrios, Bryce Harper, Nolan Arenado, gold proof right there, bottom left, gold proof. 
Couple hits should be behind him. I'm gonna save those. Let's check out Roy Campanella, Lumberjacks. Mookie Betts, Naturals. Uh, Whit Merrifield, Power, uh, Power Alley, followed by Giancarlo Stanton. War, wins above replacement. And the hits in this box. First hit, Caleb Ferguson, Los Angeles. Leather, rookie signature, numbered 105 out of 125, right there on the manufactured sweet spot. I love those. Yeah, so those good. are fun. It's a fun little card. There you go, Robert. And your final hit behind or in between that with the Nolan Arenado there is Kevin Newman. Newman. Triple relic with two pieces of his bat, a little gold swatch there, numbered out of 299. Robert H says nice. Not thrilling, but nice. <laughs> I keep saying that. It's a quote from one of my favorite movies. Wento, are you watching? Do you know that one? Have we, I think we've talked about that one before. By the way, thank you, Robert H. Happy Labor Day to you. Uh, Ivan. Ivan's up right now. <clears throat> Michael F.H. on deck. Uh, we got Corey... In the hole, right? Yeah. And uh, Jeremy hitting cleanup, followed by Mondragon. Wento says hi, Fidelity. No, that was uh, that movie was from uh, History of the World, Part One. Oh, I don't remember that. Dom DeLuise delivers that line. When they're, he's playing Caesar, and they're bringing him all these treasures, and they reveal one of the treasures. He goes, nice. Oh, yeah. Not thrilling, but nice. Great movie. <laughs> his, his, like, delivery is amazing. Ivan, where you at, buddy? Hey, bada bada so wing. I'm going to start with Sterling for you, Ivan. One autograph per pack on the Bowman Sterling for $49.99, free shipping. Let's see what he gets. There's another Kevin Newman on the front. Never can tell where the autographs are going to come out, so I'm just going to open. It's probably going to be behind Jeff McNeil. Boom, Brady Singer. Your autograph in this pack is Brady. Wants to be a singer. I always try to find a stupid middle name. <laughs> Uh, Royals, Brady Singer. Do you mind uh, sleeping yeah, that for you. me, B? Followed by Casey Mize, Drew Waters, and the infamous, now infamous, Garrett Hampson. Thank you. And uh, Ivan also picked up a box of uh, Diamond Kings. I like Diamond Kings. Kevin Morales asking if Vladdy stopped by the shop yet tonight. Not yet, but we got plenty of opportunity for Vladdy to stop by. The welcome mat is at the front door. He knows where we're at. He could be on Labor Day day off, but hopefully he's vacationing here on Labor Day. Let's go, Ivan. Diamond Kings. Two hits per box. I opened one of these boxes at the uh, Lord's Cricket Ground in England when I was there. It was one of the coolest experiences of my life to date. I was basically there by myself, and there was like a dozen other people at the stadium. It was radical. Had a really nice conversation with an older uh, British gentleman whose name escapes me at this time. Could have a hit here somewhere. Let's see what's happening here. Stephen Duggar? What's it going to be? No, just a couple of backwards cards. Babe Ruth on the left. That's a nice card. Oh, 
Jonathan Davis, Garrett Hampson again, Kyle Wright. Maybe an autograph here, probably not. No, yeah, it's a border. Framed, parallel, Chipper Jones, Joey Votto, Joe Sewell, my boy, Ricky. Decoy in here. We're going to get rid of that right quick. Here's Nolan Ryan. Fletcher. <laughs> Bench. Mel Ott. We got Jose Ramirez. Uh, portraits card. Corbin Burns. Stan Musial. Carl Erskine. Hey, Cam Vett. I didn't even see you come in. It says, pleasure stopping by for three minutes. Good luck. Hope you activate the boom machine, Hall of Fame. Peace. Three minutes popping in and out, man. Happy Labor Day to you, Cam. Thanks, buddy. Stop by the shop, dang it. Ryan O'Hearn. Ted Williams. Jacob Nix. You say Kikuchi rookie, followed by Mike Trout. It's a nice card. Yeah. Salvador Perez, Brad Keller, Reese Hoskins. Still yet to find a hit. This is a thick pack right here. I'm going to say that has a hit in it. I'm going to save that. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, thanks for the super chat, buddy. It makes it so much easier for us to see these chats come up. You eyeballed that, Ricky. You can have it. I would have mentioned it, but I already have one for my PC. So you can keep that one for yours, bud. Thank you for the offer, though. Onus Wagner. Framed, followed by Bob Shockey. Satchel. Losiga. And Lowe. This one feels kind of thickish too. They were three toys. Yeah, I know. I don't think this is. Maybe. Ah, it is. Ah, fooled by a decoy. That's the point. Kopech, P. Reese, Hudson, Patrick, Wisdom, decoy, Blake Snell, Keller, Nola, Kramer. Yes, Joey47, PC stands for Personal Collection. It also stands for Personal Computer. It also stands for Politically Correct, and probably some other things as well. <laughs> Kikuchi, Artist Proof Rookie. These are cool. The Artist Proof cards are just a little more rare than the other ones. Followed by Frank Baker. Ruth, Allard, DiMaggio. Have yet to see the first hit in this box for Ivan. Albies, Altuve, Betts. Is there a hit here? No. Nice looking Mike Trout card though. Followed by Tony Gwynn flashback. Scherzer, Stewart, Luriano. Wento says decoys are better than points. Touche, my friend. Not wrong. Not wrong. Yeah, not entirely wrong with that statement. Man, I and mean, we recently, after we got like 1,000 points on one of our last breaks, we recently went and just for fun looked at the, what they're offering for points redemptions. It's ugly. It is ugly. It's basically all Sean Reed Foley cards like this. <laughs> oh. uh, Mariano, nice portraits card of Mariano. Nice looking guy there. The Mick. More Sean Reed Foley and Jackie Robinson. Poor Sean Reed Foley. <laughs> Who knows, maybe he'll do something phenomenal and those cards will all be worth a lot of money. 
Uh, Vladdy Sr. We got DeGrom, Alston, Juan Soto, and Decoy, which means the hits should be in the last two packs. Crazy. Soto, Gallery of Stars. These are beautiful cards. Yes, those are nice. Those are nice. Uh, Kluber, Clemens, and Greenberg. All right, let's see what hits are left for Ivan. All right, we managed to save the hits for last for you, Ivan. Let's just get right to it. I'm going to get right to it. First hit is... Oh, Brandon's loving you right now. Oh. Willie McCovey. That's nice. Dual relic autograph. And part wow. of that relic is kind of come unsewn there a little bit. Wow. A little thread on there. He doesn't have the cleanest signature, but the guy's like 95 years old or something, uh, right? He's, he's dead. up there. No, he's dead. Oh, he's not living anymore? He passed last year. Hmm. Rest in peace, Mr. McCovey. My apologies, sir. Last uh, year? I think, you know, last year early this Missed year. Missed it by that much, but that's a beautiful card. Early this year, I think. Beautiful card. Well, there you go. No longer with us. Making this card that much more special. Ivan, this one's yours. I don't know, Brandon, would you want to work a trade, maybe? Absolutely. Brandon's our local Giants fan. Maybe you guys can hook up and work up a trade. Ivan, you're not in our trade group yet. But uh, I have your number, Ivan, and I obviously have Brandon's number, so you guys can uh, work out a trade through me if you like, or Ivan, if you, uh, if you permit, I can give Brandon your cell number. <clears throat> but that's a nice looking card. Yeah, October, October 31st of last and year. And maybe Brian, I know uh, Ivan likes Koufax. You got any Koufax, maybe? Or, or Dodgers stuff? I'll have to wrestle that away, but I could... I, I could Oh yeah, uh, Brandon's uh, longtime girlfriend is the is the Dodger collector in the family, and uh, he's gonna have to arm wrestle her for it. But uh, Ivan says that's cool. I'll pass you his number later. All right, cool. Brandon's one of our uh, oldest friends here. Been coming here for like a thousand years. Good guy. That's a nice card, buddy. Let's see what your last hit is. Chipper. I'm just going to get straight to it. I'm going to get straight to it. Oh, here's a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Heirs to the Throne card. Those are pretty. And the hit behind this is... Uh, woo! The, this guy is coming out more than Vladdy today. That's a sick little dual relic. 46 out of 49. So this box of Diamond Kings has been sitting back there on personal breaks... Ever since we started this series nine episodes ago, no one's picked it up until Ivan pulled the trigger now and got a couple of sweet hits, in my opinion. Yeah. Look at that little dual relic. That's pretty sick, right? That's sick, yeah. Number down to 49. Jake Cave is looking for property in Arcadia, California, says Beer Baseball. <laughs> is he looking for a cave? Here we go. Nice card. Nice job, Ivan. Thanks, buddy. Happy Labor Day to you, my man. We got plenty to go here. After I take a sip of water. You got a new bottle right there. Michael Heron, Michael FH, are you in the chat still? Michael FH pulled the trigger on four mean boxes right now. Top's finest, top's chrome, and two boxes of top's five star. <laughs> Question is, where are we going to start? So Michael FH on deck, uh, or excuse me, Michael FH at the plate, Corey O on deck, Jeremy in the hole, Mondragon's batting cleanup right now. Michael Heron's here. Do you want me to start with any particular box, finest chrome or five star? You, you want to call it or take your, uh, he says take your pick. He knew where I was going with that. I'm going to start with five star. I'm going to go, I'm going to bookend it with five star since you got two five stars. I'm going to do this basically. Five star, finest, chrome, five star. All right. Five star just came out on, what was it, Wednesday? Yeah. So this is brand new, folks. Two on card autographs per box. And that's it. It's a quick rip, but the boxes look great. Love five star. 
Boxes look great this year with the nice gold leaf on the front. These boxes are sick. You can get them right now. Quick rips. Free shipping. One pack. Two cards. Unless Tops gives you a bonus, which they are known to do. Two thick autographs. I'm going to try to open this without revealing. All right, the front autograph, Danny Jansen. Regular. Danny Jansen, on-card rookie autograph right there. Aren't these cards beautiful, though? They are. Very nice. And behind him, 14 out of 15, Cole Stewart, on-card rookie autograph right there. And look, these cards almost, <laughs> they fit together so nicely. Look at that. That's so cool. I'd love to get a bunch of, like, colored parallels from one different player the and put them all together. Yeah. That'd be sick. That would look really good. Uh, so there's plenty of cards to chase in this product. From these two guys to even, like, you know, more popular names like Otani to Judge and all that kind of stuff. This is a fun product. Very nice. Look at how thick the cards are. So Michael, there we go. That's kicking it off for you. I'm going to let Brandon sleeve those for me. I'm going to take the thick ones. And we're going to get into some finest. Bubble Pug up in here, I see. What's up, Bubble Pug? Top's finest. Two mini boxes. One chrome, one chrome autograph per mini box. Yeah, I got to... Watch that action. Yeah. I'm just going to open up both of these mini boxes right at one time here. Scott Nix, what's up, buddy? Happy Labor Day to you. All right, there should be an autograph in this stack. There should be an autograph in this stack. Let's just go and see where they are. Top's finest. Correa. Pujols. Christian Stewart right there. Coming out quick with a gold on-card rookie autograph. 23 out of 50. Boom. That's beautiful. I love the gold ones. The gold ones out of finest look real nice. There you go. Yeah, you've just received a Finest Autograph card from 2019 Finest. Scott Nix just picked up some Chronicles. Did he get those for personals or did he get those for a regular? Personal? Christian Stewart. That's a nice card kicking off this box there, Heron. Crashaw. Sheffield. Arenado. So the rest of these, the rest of these cards, we we burned the autograph on the first mini box here. So let's see, there could be probably some numbered, maybe a numbered parallel or two, like a blue chip card, Ahmed Rosario, Kluber, Hamilton. Blake Snell, Castellanos. Salvador Perez, Torres, and Bowers. Giolito, Tatis, Martinez, Jake Bowers, <coughs> Ryan Barucki. Barucki. Uh, Joey47 reminding everyone to hit that like button. We do have a personal challenge where we like to see how many likes we can get during a live stream. Our record's 124. Potentially we could break it on Labor Day. If you haven't hit that like button yet, we already hit it on our side. Hit it on your side right now. Let's see if we can even get close to 100. Chapman, Trout, 
Is the autograph in the first pack again? I believe it might be. Probably is. And it looks like Tampa Bay. What, Blank Snell? Yep. Brandon Lowe, Brandon I mean? Lowe. Bland, Brandon Lowe? Yeah, you, you, that's what she said. Uh, Heron, I see your question. I will uh, see what we can do. Usually we, we don't do that. But if it's feasible for you, I will. Brandon Lowe autograph is your second autograph. So your two autographs in this box of finest were Brandon Lowe rookie, Christian Stewart rookie, gold auto out of 50. You still have a few packs left. Colby Allard. We got a green parallel behind him. It's uh, Matt Olson out of 150, uh, excuse me, 250. Purple parallel, Matty Olson. Syndergaard, Lindor, Ryan Anderson, Buster Posey. Gallo, Bogarts, Altuve, Kershaw, Yelich. Anderson, Alonzo, there's an Alonzo base rookie. Nice. Not shabby. Danny Jansen. Last pack in the box of finest for Michael Heron. Oh, I forgot Polar Bear was your was your guy, buddy. What was that card? Just saw one of his. There we go. There's your there's your Polar Bear. At least you got a little base rookie out of finest right there. Hoping maybe hit an autograph for you in one of these next two boxes. Tops Chrome Jumbo coming up. Autos yeah, a lot of rookie autos. Five autographs out of these 12 packs right here, folks. Let's see where they're going to be. Uh, Michael F.H., Michael Heron. These are for you. Posey, James, Corbin, Burns. Again, these guys are coming back to back all season long in this product. <laughs> are they? Yeah, it's my uh, Wheel of Fortune before and after. Patrick Corbin Burns. Same. Ray Mancini. Ryan O'Hearn. Noah Syndergaard. Autograph behind him. Let's just check out the autograph. Let's just check out the autograph. It's twins. What's it going to be? Williams Astudio? Who else is a good uh, twin that's an autograph right now? Nope. Jay Cave. Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. Jay Cave. All right. Much to uh, maybe some people's dismay, he seems to be taking the place of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Right now, at least. He pulled like a thousand Jake Cave autographs today only. The guy's in store, too. Yeah, we had like two or three pulled in store. We pulled uh, a couple uh, during the break today. Uh, we pulled one in our break from last week. Uh, it was pretty nice, that Chronicles. Did you see that one? Yeah, I did. Really nice. It was nice. sick. I was in that one. Were you? Yeah. That's right. I had the Giants. We still got to do business for that? No, we were, we're taking care of it. Did we? Yep. Okay, good. We're taking care of it. DeGrom, Prism there. Nimmo. There's your uh, Mets. Nimmo in that pack. By the way, I didn't show you the, the Cinder Guard. Uh, there was your Mets in that last pack. Heron. Um. <clears throat> Uh, I'm dropping the link right now. If you want to get into group breaks, sign up right now. Sign up in the next five or ten minutes if you want to get in so we can fit you in. Here's Vlad Guerrero, Jr., rookie. And we'll open a box just for you. Click, any, click any of the products on those pages that say personal breaks. You'll get free shipping. We'll open it right now. So get those orders in. Now is the cutoff time, folks. Get those orders in. Altuve, Mullins, I'm looking for some more Mets. 
Stanton and Reggie Jackson on the same card. And we got an autograph behind them. The autograph is whew, Taylor Ward. No Mets for you, Heron, yet, but you still got uh, three more autos supposed to be found. Taylor Ward, on card rookie autograph for the Angels. Caleb says, sorry I'm late, I just went fishing. What'd you catch? What'd you catch, Caleb? Uh, yeah, I'm a Connor's at the front door. You want to grab that for me real quick? Yeah. Here's uh, Brandon Belt. By the way, Cindergard was on the front of this pack for Heron. Here's Brandon Belt, blue refractor. Brandon Belt, numbered uh, 108 out of 150. Three more autos to be found. Lewis Brinson, DeYoung, Blackman, Aguilar. Looks like there's another autograph back here behind the Josh Hader prism. We're talking. Is that Toronto? Rowdy Tillis. He likes to get rowdy on Labor Day. I like the thick pen point there. Connor, come on over. Where'd he go? Oh, boy. Round it to you as one of Elk Grove, Elk Grove's finest. All right, still two autographs to be found in this box of chrome for uh, Heron. Let's see if we can sort of move forward here. Find any uh, cool Mets cards or uh, autographs or numbered uh, parallels. Jake K says, you're better than everyone. Wow. That is high, high compliment. Better than everyone? <whistles> Thank you, Jake. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, behind David Peralta, we got Jeffrey Springs. Whittling it down to the last autograph in this box for Heron. Jeffrey Springs, what's up, Connor? Come on over and say hi. Connor's been in some of our uh, videos before. You might want to bend down. There you go. Hello, you, you guys might recognize Connor. He's opened up. What have you opened up on our channel? Um, on YouTube, I've opened up. Museum? museum collection, yeah, museum, and I did the mail day video of the Kofax card. Oh yeah, he he pulled the uh, Kofax redemption and got that cool. What was it? Tell him what it was. Nineteen fifty six, number seventy nine, Sandy Kofax. Yeah, yeah pretty that's... sick. So this Connor right here, he just lives down the street. I told yeah. him he could come and watch uh, the break live today. Usually we do these uh, during shop hours, so anybody can come and watch. But uh, today we had to close shop at 4 so that we could start the breaks because we don't have the manpower to do breaks and shop on a busy day like Labor Day. It was busy today. Here's Ian Desmond, purple, 007. There he is, 007, the Bond. Everybody say what's up to Connor right now. A couple people saying what's up. Wento says, hey, Connor. Ivan says, good old Connor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, three packs left for Heron right here on this box. Giolito, no autograph there. There's a McNeil base rookie. Everyone's saying what's up to Connor right now. Can I read names off the chat? Say again. I'm allowed to read names off the chat. Are you? Yes. Am I allowed to? Read names off the chat. Like what? Like on people saying hi. Yeah, go for it if you can. Can you see that far? Yeah. Wow. Must be young, nice. Young, young guys. guys. Must be nice. <laughs> Do it. Bubble Pug, Michael Hern Hernan, Caleb Lanou, Joey47, Scott Nix, and Bryce Dahl. Yeah. A couple shout-outs straight from Connor right there. There you go. Uh, all right. Looks like your last hit in this box, Heron, That's is a good. redemption and... I'm going to wait till I open this pack first. Oh. Uh, oh. That's right. That's right. Hi, Candy, by the way. 
Connor's mom is here. That three C's. Luis Urias, Prism. Gaim, <laughs> says Ivan. I like that. <laughs> all right, all right. That was nothing crazy in that pack. So let's just get to it right here. Here you go, Heron. Let's see what your... What do we think it's going to be, folks? What do we think it's going to be? Blake Snell? Sean Reed Foley? Bueller. Walker Bueller? He's actually given a... Uh, Brandon's given us a, a higher... Higher class redemption. Chris Bryant. Heron wants the polar bear. Polar bear. Going polar bear. Let's see. Congratulations, Michael F.H. You are due to receive a rookie autograph gold. That's a good start. Refractor parallel, of course. Obviously. <laughs> of... Here you go, uh, Michael Heron. This one's for you, buddy. Oye, como va? <laughs> Dennis oh, Santana, buddy. So it's not the polar bear we're looking for. That's right. He autographed all of his base, but he re redeemed all of his parallels in this set. <laughs> I remember that. Dennis Santana, not Carlos Santana, but Dennis Santana. Who's he play for, like the Twins or something? No, it, wasn't he? Well, he was a Dodger. Oh, was this Dodger? He's, he's, he's in the AAA right now. Yeah. Oh, the oh, that, yeah, yeah, okay. Was, is there a Carlos Santana yeah. right now? That, that's Indian. That's Indians. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's I'm thinking of Carlos Santana. Dennis Harris. Santana, Dodger, Michael Heron. Sorry to build you up just to uh, bring you down right there. But, good news, you still got a box of five star, and then... Corey O, followed by Jeremy, followed by Mondragon, followed by Scott Nix and James M. Michael Heron stacking it up on Labor Day. Let's see if we can find Pistol Pete out of this box. All right, Heron. Boom. Whoa, Fred McGriff, the oh, crime yeah. dog. Right? Yeah. Look at that, one out of five. It's no pistol peep, but that's gorgeous, man. Five star golden graphs, just like that. What do you guys think about that card from Tops Five Star? Look at the gold, solid gold leaf on the corners. Gold paint pen autograph, and numbered in the bottom left, one out of five. Very nice. Very Bone nice. machine activated. The crime dog. Robert H says McGriff should be in the Hall of Fame. I agree. Michael Heron loves it. He loves seeing that low number right there. We still have a card behind it. What do we think it is? I think it's facing this way? That's the back. Nope. I think it's facing this way? Is this the back of the card? That's no. the back yeah, of the card. Not. No, it's not. No, it's not? Okay. Rookie. Five-star Marlins. Uh, Trevor Richards. No. On-card rookie. Autograph. Not thrilling, but nice. But you know what is thrilling? Is the Crime Dog. That is a beautiful card. That looks nice, right? Oh, That's yeah. a great card. That looks, I mean, these cards look so much better in person than they do on screen. And we got a decent camera, too. The gold looks really nice. The signature. <laughs> I like that. Sick. So, Michael Heron, happy Labor Day, buddy. Thanks for jumping in today. We still got Ricky Henderson just kind of presiding back here. Is that an auto? Nah. No. It's just a cool little <coughs> chrome card that uh, somebody traded to me. That was David B.R. So, Corio now batting. Jeremy F. on deck. Mondragon in the hole. Scott Nix batting cleanup at this point. And James M. in the five spot. Is Corey O up on here? And hey, I'm seeing soup dropping links right now. Everybody say hello to Soup, aka Luis Valdez, friend and moderator. What's up, Soup? Happy Labor Day, buddy. You stuck at work today or what? Corey Over, what's up? There you go. I see you in here. Uh, where do you want me to start, Corey? Do you have a preference? Museum, Tribute, or Leather and Lumber? Three fine packs right here. Museum, Tribute, or Leather and Lumber? Do you care? Do you want to quickly pick an order? 
Soup's getting that double time. Yeah. Take the mouse for all he's worth. Museum Lumber Tribute. In that order. I like it. All right, Corey. I wonder if David BR is still watching right now. He probably isn't. Man, I'm looking forward to those cold ones. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Corey. Museum, you got Blake Snell. Uh, Cody. Nolan Ryan and uh, Juan Soto base. And before I reveal the hit, I'm going to say what's up again to Ivan. <laughs> Ivan with the $5 Super Chat says, If Brandon does the Vintage Gum Challenge, he can have the card if it's okay with you, Eric. <laughs> he wow. can have the uh, the 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 uh, Willie McCovey. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, how many sticks of gum does he have to chew at one time for that I'm Willie McCovey? Not swallowing it like Eric. That's that's just not. That's happening. what I'm asking. And does he have to swallow the gum? Oh God. Ivan's a really nice guy. Yeah, I've, I've met Ivan uh, a couple. I'm trying to make it a little harder on you, just because. <laughs> All right, Corey. Here's your hit. Ooh, Juan Gonzalez. Archival autograph. I like that. Juan Gonzalez was a stud back in our day. Out yeah. of 199. Yeah, he was a stud. There you go, Corey. That's a decent just one and done from Museum. Could have been much, much worse, but that's nice. Juan, Juan Gonzalez was a stud, man. Nice on card auto there. Focus camera. Focus. There it is. Juan Gon, says Beer Baseball Blog. Ivan, if you could, if you could, if you could choose your words a little bit more uh, appropriately <laughs> next time you say that, I would be, that would be very helpful. Mm, she swallowed it. All right, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. What song was that from? Um, like some like a uh, that was, that was public a, enemy or no, something. No, that was a Dre song. Was it Dre? Yeah. Snoop or something? Off of no, off of the 2001 Chronicle. Oh, okay. Uh, Corey's still going. I knew Soup would get a hold of that. See what happens? And we can't have garbage like that up in here. Yeah, there's a, there's Personally, behind the scenes, maybe. That's fine. Corey, still going with some nice packs. Here's leather and lumber for you, Corey. So how many sticks of gum, Ivan? How many sticks of gum does he does he need to chew and swallow to get that uh, Willie McCovey? Just one? That's the numbers on you. Just one? Yeah, Melito, do us a favor and pull out that Willie McCovey card for Brandon, just so he can <laughs> just so I can ponder this. Be reminded more. and. All right, Corey Madbum here. We got Mitch Hanager, Aaron Judge. Hits, uh, let's see, Cody Bellinger, one of the gold proof cards. I'm going to leave that upside down because the hits are below it. So I'm going to do that like that. Those are your hits. Here's uh, A Rod, Schwarber, Machado. We had a guy in store today who loved Machado. Uh, Glaber Torres, 30 of 99 right there. Not whole gang. And Corey, your hits. Chance Adams is your uh, rookie uh, leather signature on the uh, manufactured sweet spot. <laughs> Soup's loving this stream. <laughs> so one stick, I'm saying. So he has to chew and swallow one stick of vintage gum. We're going to find the oldest pack in the shop. You know what that means? Yeah, I know what that means. <laughs> Does he have to swallow it? Yep. Uh, Corey gets this card, plus he also gets the man who loves Hall of Fame baseball cards. It's not signed, but it's a wow. jumbo big bats swatch of Vladdy Guerrero Jr., number 12 out of 25. Look at how massive that is. That thing fills the whole screen. That thing fills the whole screen right there. That's big. That's a massive... Bat card for Vladdy Jr. 
See if I can get a sleeve on that. Sick. See if I can get a sleeve on this. All right. <clears throat> manufactured patch. Yes, that's why I uh, announced this as a manufactured sweet spot. But this is the one that gets the attention out of that pack. There you go, Corey. You still have one more pack to go. Yes. Thank you, sir. You got it. Two weeks in a row, we've pulled Vladdy for Corey. Javier Baez had a tribute. Giancarlo Stanton numbered uh, 59 of 99. And your hit... I believe it's a relic. A Rod. Hey. Number 68 of 99. A Rod. Little dual relic right there. That could have been much worse. Nice. There you go. Not great. Uh, I need. Uh, Yama, can you grab me a pick of the a pack of the thick uh, penny sleeves, please? When you have a chance. So there you go, Corey. Thanks to you, my man. Happy Labor Day. He says, not bad. Thanks, Shop. You got it. Thank you. And uh, should we let Brandon ponder the uh, offer on the table for the gum chewing, right? Or should we... Do you want to think about that a little longer, or have you made a decision? No, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to make you grab your own pack, right, too. You know where I'm going. 81 Donruss. 81 Donruss. That's the oldest pack we have on the shelf right now. All right. Everybody's watching right now. We got 85 people watching right now. Anyone else, tell your friends to pop in just for the next five minutes. Brandon's going to take the Vintage Bubblegum Challenge from our the oldest packs that we have on the shelf. It's 1981, the year that my dad started this shop. He's going to do it. Uh, earlier, we pulled this card for Ivan. And Ivan just offered Brandon this card if he would chew and swallow a vintage bubble gum. He's, uh, Brandon's hitting the water bottle already. So for this card, Brandon, you will need to chew and swallow the piece of bubble gum from this pack of 81 Donruss. Do you want to sit in the hot seat and do this? Yeah, let, let, let's. All right. All right. Look at this, vintage wax pack. They call them wax packs because they were originally wrapped in wax paper. These are from our original stock from 1981. And Brandon is going to eat the, the stick of gum that's right on the top. He's going to sit in the hot seat right now. Everybody, tune in. All right. Right, right now. What's up, everybody? Let's open this. and He's going to show off the cards first. Let's see who you get in the pack first. Yeah. That's part of the fun. Show off the gum. Oh. Gum usually sticks. You do have to eat any paper that comes off with it. Oh, it came oh, off clean. It came off clean. Nice. He, he got lucky. Wow. We got Joe Torrey, Lenny Randall, Greg Gross, Bill Castro, Dick, Nick, Dick Knowles, <laughs> Daryl Jackson. Here's a Mickey Hatcher and a Dodger Uni. The Hatch. Willie Norwood. There's a good stash with Jose yeah, Morales. Good stash. Doug Capella, Hoskin Powell. Don Stanhouse, there you go. A look your, look you watch your glare up on the oh, screen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at Don Stanhouse, wow. gotta win best stash in this yeah. pack. Unless we get Raleigh Fingers or somebody. Jim Cat, Larry Bittner with another pretty good stash. Daryl Porter, Cliff Johnson, Tommy Boggs, Ron Lafleur. And Jesse Figueroa. All right. Okay. Mondragon, by the way, says thinks you should be eating the whole wax pack for this card. <laughs> okay. Here, I'm actually going to pull the microphone a little bit closer right. so that we can hear the crunch. You guys ready for this? Here's a uh, stick of bubble gum from 1981 for a Willie McCovey dual relic auto. Well, I'm going to have to check my dental plan after this to make sure I'm good. All right. Here we go. So hard. Giggity. <laughs> What's it taste like? Actually, not terrible. It's like chalky, though. Chalky for sure. Describe your feelings right now. My mouth is really dry. But 
It's not great. Chew and swallow. Does he get no water for uh, one minute afterwards? Five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes. Wow, you're hard. Matt and Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the crunch. It's not terrible, but it's not like, it's, I can't. No, let me finish this. So it gave me flashbacks from when I tried it. Yeah, and you got a Kofax out of it, so yeah, good, that's good, true. good for you. <laughs> and it worked out well for you, yeah. Brandon. How, how, people are saying, uh, "Good luck." Oh, the crunch! Oof. Yeah. All right, we're done. Sounded like chips. Yep, and he couldn't. And you know what? It didn't even ball up. It didn't Ooh. even ball up. It just kind of yeah. was like eating a chip. It just dissolves into yeah. sand, right? Basically. But you handled it. We're done. And thanks to Ivan, you get to keep that Willie McCuffey yeah. card. Show that off in camera right there. Yeah, yeah. In front there. Watch your glare. Yeah. That, 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 thank, thank you, Ivan. Ivan, and that was for you, man. Good deal. <laughs> and hopefully everybody else enjoyed that as well. Glad to be able to entertain the masses. <laughs> All, All right, right. Now get out of the hot All seat. Right. Nice job, buddy. Brandon handled that like a champ right now. Thanks, Ivan. That's fun stuff, man. That's yeah, fun stuff. Um, best mustache. Best mustache, by the way, went to, where is it? Don Stanhouse. Look at that thing. That thing is dirty. That thing is wispy. That's like a push broom. That's like a walrus, like Wilford Brimley's uh, nephew or something. All right, Brandon, you get to keep all those cards Oh, as yeah, well. fantastic. All right. Woo. Now batting, Jeremy F. Jeremy F., are you still, are you still with us? <laughs> I'd be surprised if you are. Happily, pleasantly surprised. Ricky Henderson still watching over the break. Jeremy F. Pack of Bowman Sterling, followed by Mondragon with five star. Scott Nix in the hole. And James M. Batten cleanup. All right, Jeremy Feldbush in the house. Let's see what's up. Quick rip, one hit. See what's up. Juan Pablo Martinez. Brady Singer. That was the last autograph we got in our last pack of Sterling. Colonel Perez. That's what I call him. Brad Keller. Okay, we're getting all the usual suspects out of the way to make room for Luis Robert. Numbered out of 199. And it's a little sticky. Oh, it's a prism. It's White Sox. Nick Madrigal. Yeah. Yeah, there we Boy, go. Nick. 21 out of 125. Nice little shimmer on card autograph from a top prospect. Oak Grove. Nick Madrigal. You go to Oak Grove? He went to Oak Grove. He, play, he also uh, with Rowdy Tejas and J.D. Davis and a whole bunch of other guys are going to be coming up soon. Woo. Jeremy, there you go, buddy. Can't ask for a... Uh, I mean, that's a pretty decent hit for one quick rip of Bowman Sterling, man. Number four pick. Yeah. Number four pick right there. Beer Baseball says, great looking card. Mondragon, I wish you could be down here right now, man. I miss your company. Jeremy says, nice. Not thrilling, but nice. I think it's thrilling. I'm thrilled. I'm excited for you, buddy. Thanks for jumping in today. Happy Labor Day to you. Thank you. Mondragon Beer Baseball Blog is coming up right now. Watch closely. Followed by Scott Nix, followed by James M., which I, are, uh, which I think is going to be our last box. James M. is going to end it for us today. Any other quick rips that want to come through, we'll allow it right now. If you want to do any five-star or a quick Bowman Sterling pack or a quick tribute pack, I'll allow it. I'll allow it in the lineup for Labor Day. Give me some quick rips. I'm not trying to rip a box of score football right now or anything <laughs> anything like that right now. No. Uh, Any quick rips? You want to line up a couple quick rips towards the end here? We can. We got space for that. I I can do that. Uh, Mondragon. Beer baseball blog. Everybody go check out beer baseball blog. He he's showing up in blue on the chat with the wrench. He's got a great little channel. Should be putting up some more content soon. I hope. Your first hit. Is I'm trying to do this without revealing everything. It's hard. Holy crap! That was not the most uh, ac uh, acrobatic. Matt Chapman is your first hit. A's and 
Miles Straw. Matt Chapman, Miles Straw. Couple of, let's see, Matt Chapman's not a rookie, but Miles Straw is a rookie. Couple of on card autos right there. Beer Baseball, what do you know about these guys? I feel like you should know a little bit about these guys. Hopefully, you appreciate the on card autos there. Boom. Thanks, Mondragon. He says, yeah, good cards. They're beautiful looking cards for sure. It is uh, a, it's a, what do I say? It's a, it's a tough rip. It really is. Yeah, it's, it's boomer bust. It's, it's, either, it's, it's yeah. either amazing it's or it's. Boomer yeah. bust. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, the uh, personal breaks is a great time to get products like this because you don't have to pay the extra shipping costs or anything too. <clears throat> Thank you, Mondragon. Happy Labor Day to you. Wish you were here, my man. Scott Nix, are you still with us? Before we get into your box, I want to find another uh, trivia question. I thought this was a good one from earlier. Mondragon might appreciate this. I, in fact, I bet Beer Baseball Blog gets this answer before anybody else. For two fake points, which Baltimore Orioles manager was ejected from a record 91 games? Go. First person to answer. I got it right. Of course, I've asked that question three times today already. I haven't heard it once, mm -hmm. but I think I know who it is. As I thought, Beer Baseball Blog and Jason Wento also on the hot button. James M. got it. Earl Weaver. Uh, Earl Weaver, who managed the Orioles for 17 years, was ejected from a Major League record 91 games. In fact, he was once ejected from both games of a doubleheader. I thought Bobby Cox broke that record. Uh... I don't know. Not no, according no. to this one. Okay, website. well, it's, yeah, we're just going with that. How much do you think he got fined for all those ejections? Probably know. like 50 bucks. Back then, it wasn't worth yeah. a lot. Uh, that's true. Yeah, back then, they were just it was just part of the game. You know? Yeah. Like, we're, we're so bad. I don't want All right, Scott Nix, where are you at, buddy? Scott Nix is here. I see him. There's still Chronicles. Gum, still gum remnants in my mouth. <laughs> Brandon says there's still gum remnants floating around his, his teeth and, and mouth right now. Yeah. Worth it. Worth it. All right, Scott Nix, do you have a preference on pack? You got six packs. Do you want to? Do you have a preference? Do you want to pick like an order right now? The first three packs or something? Or you just want me to rip or what? Four? All right, four. Four's looking thick. Ish. All right, Chronicles. Love breaking the Chronicles. Fun product. Judge right on the front. Goldie. We got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. By the way, we did the case break, and the person who bought the uh, Blue Jays in the case break ended up with like 25 Vlad Guerrero Jr. base rookie cards out of this product. I mean, that's pretty sick, considering they're probably, I mean, minimum $2 a piece. Probably more than that. Yeah. Probably at least five. Uh, there's a hit behind him. We also got uh, Kopech. We got, let's see, something else. Kikuchi. Backwards car. Brian Reynolds. Chris Paddock. And the hit behind Vladdy. Wilson Contreras. A little pinstripe. A little prime relic right there. So that's the place to do it right it's, it's there. It's easy in that chair. Yeah. yeah. I've done get it. Out of it. I've done Wilson it. Contreras coming up first for Scott Nix. Got to go, everyone. Have a great Labor Day, Ivan. All right, Ivan. Uh, thanks, brother. Thank you, Ivan. Connect with you soon. Uh, and thanks for to Brandon. Yeah. Thanks, Ivan. Appreciate it. Yeah. Riley, we got Cal Quantrill upside down. We got uh, Tatis Jr. 
That's upside down, but it's numbered out of 99, little blue parallel. We got Chris Davis, little Spectra insert. We got Chris Paddock. Chris Paddock comes out in waves too out of this product. Danny Jansen, Ichiro, and Shoheezy comes out a lot in this product too. Cody, Scherzer, Tatis. Mm, we got a redemption. Uh, there's Vlad Guerrero Jr. again. That's two. Tatis again. I think Tatis is in the lead, three to two. And the redemption. Yeah, it's Kyle Tucker. Spectra rookie jersey autograph. Kyle Tucker. A little redemption there. So. Uh, Scott Nix, uh, send Panini a little email, a little redemption there. That's two of your four hits. I believe you're due two more autographs. Wento says, got to go. 4 a.m. comes quick. Happy Labor Day. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks, Jason. What movie is this from, Wento? Before you go, sleep well and dream of large women. I do not envy the headache you will have when you awake, but in the meantime, sleep well and dream of large women. I know you know that, Wento. There's Pete Alonzo, rookie right here, followed by something cool. Jersey Devil got it in there. Wento, I know you knew that. Here's Corbin Burns. Now you can rest well. Your night is complete. Uh, meanwhile, Scott Nix is like, oh. that's all right. Nice card, though. These are nice. 92 out of 99. America's pastime. Nice, thick. They got, like, the, uh, the uh, acetate on top. Was that the Princess Bride? Mm -hmm. Princess Bride. Have you seen that movie yet? Yes, I have. You have? Wow. Good. Twice. Good. Twice. Well, half of it once again. I probably saw that movie for the first time when I was about your age or less. Here's Chris Paddock. I feel like there's nothing in this pack but, but base cards. Rowdy Tellez. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, I am. Darwinson Hernandez. Darwinson Hernandez rounding out your last hit right there. Darwinson. So that should do it for Chronicles for Scott Nix Day. Let's see what's in his last pack. Bryce Harper. You say Kikuchi Kuchi Ku, base rookie. Timeless Treasures. These cards are just not organized well enough for me. There's Darwinson out of 199. There's Francisco Lindor Spectra. That should be numbered. Out of 49. 11 out of 49 right there. Lindor. That's a dope card. Look at the design work on that. Yeah. Mm, Kikuchi. Keller. Molina. Yelich. Rounding it out. Scott Nix, thank you, my man. Happy Labor Day to you, bud. And it looks like James M. is going to be our last break of the day with a box of elements. It's a quick rip, four cards, two autographs, one memorabilia, and a base. And this is going to end our Labor Day break. All right, James. There he is. He says, let's do it. Scott says thanks. See you next Monday. Thanks, Scott. Have a great night. All right, James. James, what's your team again? I'm forgetting. What's, what's your football team, James? These boxers are cool. They just open up like this. It's got a sleek black pack in it. 
Cowboys. James look hoping for Cowboys right now. These are sick looking packs. It almost looks like a look like a leather or something, doesn't it? I know. Oh, David Br swooping in with a little quickie. David Br, you're you're. I'm joking when I say this. You're keeping us from drinking those beers you gave us earlier. <laughs> but I don't mind. I'll do some quick rips for David Br all night. Okay, which way am I going to open this? Uh, let's do it. Uh, or I don't know. This way, so we you got. Just do it that. I mean, here I'm just gonna do like I'm gonna set them down, and reveal them. You guys in the store here will be able to see before everyone else. But Kenyon Drake, and these cards are metal. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, all metal cards, and this is on card right there, on card signature. Metal moments. It's dolphins. Sorry, uh, James. It's not cowboys, but it's still nice. It's a very clean looking card. What do you know about Kenyon Drake? Uh, running back, he was one of their he was one of their uh, their featured backs um, last year. He should probably be one of their featured backs this year, but their offense are terrible. Really? Yeah, they're terrible. But Drake Drake's not bad. James says nice, not thrilling, but, but nice. nice. Followed by Nikhil Harry. Wasn't somebody talking about Nikhil Harry in the group chat earlier? Yeah, and he's well, he's their one of their top draft picks. 24 out of 25. It's rookie neon signs autograph. You know, you got all this space to sign. Can you just take up a little little section there? That's my team right there. Is that your team? Connor's a Patriots fan. My dad hates me for it. <laughs> I like Belichick. Isn't Sorry, it's team? not Cowboys. Uh, James says dope. Okay, that's one step up from nice. I like that. Dope, he says. That's a, de that's a decent one. Bryce Dahl says he loves this card. He even, he even messaged the heart emoji. Nikhil Harry, right there. Wow, how about a one of one? Woo! Is that guy's name Easton Stick? Yeah. Easton Stick, Charger. a one of one. <laughs> Little Nike swoosh right there. Radioactive rookie, one of one in the upper left hand corner. The Nike swoosh right there, right off of his jersey. Sorry, he's not a cowboy, but you got the only card of its kind for this guy right here. Keep an eye on him. Was he a quarterback? Yeah, quarterback for the Chargers. He's, uh, who's their starter? Rivers. It is still. Jeez. He's, Rivers has been playing a while, right? Yeah, he's been around a while. Hmm, Stick might get a chance. You never know. I like Rivers, but keep an eye on Easton Stick with the Chargers. This card could be something doing. James M. says, nice looking. It's definitely nice looking. Great looking card. And then your final card is just the uh, little base, Devonta Freeman. Devonte? Devonta. Devonta? Devonta Freeman. I'm terrible. And the sticker on this card is kind of peeling off already you can see it's peeling off in the upper upper corner just a base card so it probably wouldn't matter if you peeled off the protective cover but there you go james decent box with a one on one in it not too shabby thanks james happy labor day weekend to you bud labor day it is the day all right now, David B.R. is going to finish us off with a quick rip of 2019 Tier 1. And this will be the last rip. Right, Yama? That is correct. Okay. This is going to be the official last rip. David B.R., we're going to enjoy those, uh, those, uh, those brewskis right after this. On Labor Day, we got to get some vacation time in somehow, so we're going to do it right here at the shop. <laughs> but uh, thanks for that. Thanks for the uh, Ricky Henderson uh, couple of the gift from earlier, the trade right here in Tier 1. And just a sincere thank you before I get into this box. Sincere thank you to everyone who's been watching today. We've had a great crowd today. Everybody's been pretty cool in the chat, and we love that. Try to cultivate a, a positive, cool crowd. 
Thanks for the support on the personal breaks. We've had some fun. We've seen some nice hits come out today. Labor Day hits, baby. Some Labor Day booms. All right, David. He says, David Brigham says, thanks for everything, guys. You guys are the best. Keep up the great work. Kelly says, always fun. Nice energy today. Benoit Leclerc says, bonsoir. Thanks for the video. Merci beaucoup. Benoit. All right. All right. All right. Oh, bonus. Ooh, bonus hit. Starting with Charlie Blackman, but you got a bonus. So you got four hits. Usually means an extra relic. Usually. Because you got two autographs and one relic normally mm -hmm. on these, so it's probably be two autographs, two relics. Starting with one of the biggest hitters in the game, Charlie Blackman. This guy can crush. Big beard. Big beard, for sure. Tiny little signature there, though. But it's clean. That's all you really want. Legends Relic? Probably a Legends Relic. Let's see. Let's see. Behind Blackman, we got upside down. I think it's going to be this way. We got David Price. 259 out of 399. This relic has got a little, it's a little chippy on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Just so you know, when, when we notice it, we like to point it out on the videos just so people know. Sometimes the thick cards can come out a little chippy. David Price, just a little swatch out of 399. Nothing cray. We got Justin Verlander. What do you guys know about Justin? What did Justin Verlander do recently, folks? No hitter. Connor, tell him. No hitter. No hitter against who? Against the Toronto Blue Jays. How many no hitters does he have in his career? Three. Three. Yeah. That was 14 strikeouts, one walk. There you go. Two Four against the Blue Jays. Yep, two against and Roger Center too. They're both yeah, they're both yep, third no-hitter. There's only uh, how many people that have done that in history? Six. Six, Six people that have done three no-hitters or more. Or more. Yeah, Nolan Ryan. Can you name the other ones? Nolan Ryan, um, Sandy Koufax. Um, uh, can, can anyone, can you name any of the others? Who do we got? Who else has done uh, three or more no-hitters in their career besides Verlander, Nolan Ryan, Sandy Koufax? That's what we got so far. Palmer? Anybody else? I actually don't know. I don't either. I, I'm not for sure either. I think Jim Palmer might be one. I know Koufax has four. One Koufax of them's has perfect four. Game. One of them is perfect game, then uh, no mine has seven. Yeah. Um, well, we can't think of them right now, but the last hit in this box is Chance Adams. So there we go. And that's going to do it for Labor Day personal breaks on this rare holiday Monday night personal breaks. We will be back next Monday, but we will not be here on the 16th. We will be at the Industry Summit trying to do stuff to better our business and better the hobby for everybody. So mark your calendars. We will not be doing personal breaks on the 16th of September. But we will be here next week on the 9th, the 23rd, and the 30th. And if that all goes well, we will continue into October and into the fall. We're looking forward to it. And Blitz is giving us a list. Nolan Ryan, Sandy Koufax, Cy Young, Bob Feller, Larry Corcoran, and Justin Verlander from Google. That's six. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten any of those. And only uh, Sandy Koufax and Nolan Ryan have had more than three. They've each had four. So thanks for the info there, Blitz. Well, that Ryan had seven. Ryan had seven. Yeah, Ryan had seven. Okay. At least four, but Ryan had seven. Oh, okay. Okay, at least four, maybe? Yeah, Ryan had seven. Yeah. Either way, thanks for the list. At least we got some names. And thank you to you guys. Happy Labor Day. Enjoy the rest of your evening, wherever you may be. Thanks to everybody, especially who participated by picking up some boxes so we could have a program to rip boxes on tonight. We wouldn't have this program with your, without your guys' support. So our thanks especially goes to the people that are picking up boxes 
Additional thanks to the people that are uh, watching the break, hitting the like button, uh, subscribe to our channel, and being positive and cool in our group chats. <clears throat> We're, we got real close to our like. We almost break, broke 100 here. We got 92 likes. That's not bad. So we're going to take the rest of this evening off. We'll be back in store tomorrow. Jump into our Bowman Chrome full case break at HOFBC.com tonight. Hope you have a great rest of the day, folks. Happy Labor Day. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. Signing off from Hall of Fame. Everybody, get behind me. Get behind me. You know what we say on three, two, one. Peace. Peace.